Hey everybody, alright, so let's keep right into this one. So this is a TLDR version for two other videos that I got. And uh, I just want to show you. <clears throat> so this video and this video, you know, I've been trying to get up for over a week. As you can see, they're very, really, really long videos. So this is going to be another TLDR. I'm going to upload both of those. They're going to be links in the comment section or in the description section of this video. But this is the final TLDR. And the TLDR is, do you want to hit 1620 or not? And here's how. So, what we're going to talk about right now is we're just going to give a quick summary of what those two videos are going to be discussing in uh, a roundabout way. So, essentially, the entire time I've been playing this game, I've genuinely understood concepts uh, like capitalization or rest, uh, using your time more efficiently, uh, when raids are worth less or more than dailies, which has happened in the past, and somebody had pointed out in the Discord today that it's actually one of those phases now, and that is the truth. Um, that it's actually just better to do your dailies than it is to do the raids, especially with the uh, 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 Fate of Embers. Like, I don't want to brag, but uh, yesterday was a pretty good day for Fate of Embers. I think I got like seven or eight of them. Um, you know what I mean? So, maybe even more. Point is, <clears throat> if you want to hit 1620, it's not that hard. What you're going to learn in these other two videos in, in the description is that Is that all it takes to hit 1620, and any of you guys can do it if you follow along with the two videos, is a good plan, some focus, and I guess the TLDR version would be that you had to make some sacrifices in certain places on your account. You needed to understand how to uh, push forward, even if that meant buying the materials you need with gold, because you're going to have an excess of gold, right? If you're trying to go for 1620, I think you only need like 900,000 gold or something like that total. Which means that uh, you would have made 1.6 minimum million gold in the time from a con to Vold Ice, which means that you would have more than enough excess resources to also just buy what you were short. The TLDR, right? Because we've already done the math in the other video. Let's pull up paint real quick. The TLDR is you have <clears throat> in 16 weeks. Which is how long you had until bull dice from thing uh, from from a con, you would have farmed about forty for four k to five k bound leaps, right? I believe you needed. Uh, let's just go grab the math real quick. I mean, you're gonna see all this in the other video. I just like I said, I wanted to make a TLDR version of it. Uh, hopefully, things load a little bit quicker. Cheers. But yeah, so you're going to want 1620. And that means we start off at 11, I think. No, we start off at 12. 15. So it's about 620k gold, about 9,800 leaps that you need. So we're just going to type this in about 10k leap. Uh, 5 mil honor shards. All right, and I'm also here to tell you that I was able to farm about 1.5 million natural progression on all of my alts. So the reason I can say what the natural progression of the game is so accurately, and I just don't care what people bring up, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to post like, oh, these are the farm rates. You're a fucking scam. You're a liar. I've now learned that those chaos dungeon and those little logs are kind of inaccurate. They're not inaccurate, but they're kind of inaccurate. And the only reason I'm saying that is because... When you do the math based on the logs, like the, here's what you're going to get per chaos dungeon clear. It says that you're only going to get like 896 of these. And that's just not true. It's not true. I have six characters that have been 1580 since a con. I've been doing these reviews of people's uh, progressions and, re and I have, you know, PMs, hundreds of more PMs of people's progressions. I've been looking at people's accounts very fucking closely. So I'm seeing what the natural progression of somebody's account is. And it's about four to 5,000 stones bound that you'll gain in 16 weeks. If you guys want to argue it, that's perfectly fucking fine. But if you're here to argue with your little math, I'm not going to listen to it. I'm not going to listen to it because, again, I have six characters that all ended up with anywhere from nine to, to 13 tickets in eight weeks, right? And had all anywhere from uh, 1,800 to 22 or 1,600, really the lower end. But 1,600 to 2,200 was the max on uh, bound leaps that they farmed in those eight weeks, right? Um now, reality is the pally, again, I didn't do his cubes, so it's more like 25, 26. You're going to see me say that in the other video. So without getting into this too much, because, again, and I'm not saying I don't care what the fucking dumbass Grentin was saying. I'm not saying I don't care, like, in the sense that I don't 
you don't deserve an explanation or that I can't be wrong. It's that like, why should I feel that I can be wrong when I've done the layer, the layers of work and, and math to get to where I am and I'm following the advice. Like, that's what I don't understand. It's like, he's a crazy, that's a crazy mentality. That kid wants me to change my thought process on the game, but he's got one fifteen ninety. You're not the person who's going to convince me that my math ain't mathing, kid, when you clearly can't even keep up. Like, do me a favor and get that shit the fuck out of here. Play the game more, and then you can come talk to me about the game more. But anyways, other than the dumbass, um, four to 5,000 bound loops is about what you're going to farm naturally on a character in those 16 weeks, just by doing the chaos engines, by doing the dailies every day, um, and by uh, doing the raids, etc., right? So that's about the bounce. In that exact same time, on one singular character, um, we, ha we have to do the math again really quickly, and I don't want this to be a long video, so we're going to do everything as fast as we possibly can. Okay? You would farm eight per day, and yes, if you're trying to get one character to 1620, you should be playing it unrested, so I don't want the bullshit about, oh, you have to play the game every day. Well, if you're not playing the game every day, I don't know why you think you should be able to make it to 1620. And I don't play every day. That's why it's funny that I'm going to make it, but let's not jinx it, because I haven't made it yet, but... Anyways, 8 times 7, right, because it's 7 days in a week. And then you should times it times 16, because it's 16 weeks, right? So you get another 896 in tradables just from that, right? So you're going to get another 896 tradables. And I did this in the other video, so you're going to see it again. I'm sorry. All right, tradables. You add that all together, you're about 6,000. So you're only about 4,000 short, right, which really isn't that many when you think about it. Um, but we're not – you actually get a lot more. Okay, you get the events, you get the login bonuses and stuff like that. So you're not 4,000 short. Um, I think you get, like, if we added in um, all the event materials and the cubes that I never did on that character, I'd say it's probably about another 1,000 stones um, between the event and, and the cubes. So let's just take another 1,000 off of that just for shits and giggles. And then we'll do 3,000 times 140 per stone. All right, so it's about 420,000 extra gold in that exact in those 16 weeks, assuming that you make, again, you're going to see this in the other video, 100k a week equals 1.6 mil in the 16 weeks, right? So then you would have more than enough. You know, you take off the, uh, what was the cost again? I just flash this on screen real quick just so you guys can see kind of what I was looking at. So it's about seven 600,000 in gold and raw gold. All right, so let's just go ahead and... Can I not put this back there? So uh, we'll add, you know, you get 420,000 that it would cost there. Let's add another 700,000 just in the raw gold taps. It's 1.1. You'd still have 500,000 gold left, so I'm very sure that you can hit 1620 on any roster. And notice that I didn't funnel here, which is what you're going to see in the other two videos. This isn't with a funnel. This isn't if you had six characters at 1580 or more. This is if you had one character at 1580. This is what you were capable of, of one character at 1580 of being only about three to 4,000 leaps short. And you're not even really short, because here's the thing, I didn't include the weeklies, which is terrible, but that's another like, couple 160 or something like that. Um, I didn't include all the other events that you can do for materials, i.e. the Chaos Shard, whatever thing, um, the Chaos Rift, I didn't include. Um, the World Bosses, I didn't include. Uh, PvP, <clears throat> I didn't include. Guild Shop, I didn't include. Uh, just a lot you know i also you know i also didn't include because you need to have at least six characters let's do one more thing and i think you get more than this from hanamatan i don't actually remember let's just say you get 15 for a hanamatan and let's say you had five characters behind this for a funnel at 1540 because you should have at least this or to a degree so we'll say 10 no no we'll say 15 we gotta be accurate so five times 15 a day times seven days a week um which wouldn't take you that much time because they're dailies times seven days a week times 16 weeks and then we're going to divide it by five again. So you get another 1,600. So we'll actually, we will dumb this down just to be kind. <clears throat> we'll say 10 times five, which I guess I can remove that five since I divide by five later. But 10 times five times seven times 16 divided by five. It's actually 12, 1,100 stones. So just add another 1,100 to that. So actually, instead of having what... Uh, we, and that's from Marvelous st Stones into Radiance, okay? That's merging them upwards on the other five characters. So you clearly could have done this. But if we added that, and remember, we're only 3,000 short. So now we're only 2,000 short times 140. 280K. So 280K gold plus the 600 and something K get at gold, right? So we'll play it 700K, even though it's actually eight, 600K. 
Well, I had 600, uh, 700k. So you have about a million gold. You still have 600,000 gold left if you were making 100k a week. And there's a lot of people who are going to be able to say to me, I make way more than that. I bust and I do this and I do that. So if you make more than that, then this should have been a problem for you. That's why this is funny. So it kind of hits out of those people with the egos that are like, I make so much gold every day. So like take uh, Brother Chris, and I like Brother Chris, right? But he makes like two to 300k a week, right? And he's talking about how he might fall short of 1620. That's crazy. Kati's talking about how he's going to fall short of 1620 with the natural progression. And so is Jukul and all these other people. But you're you're not playing the game correctly. So I don't know how to help you. Like You wouldn't fall short. Like I've seen your rosters. Kati is the best for you. You could hit 1620. You just don't know what the fuck you're doing is the problem. And you probably don't play the game enough, to be fair. So why don't you guys start giving me shout outs, get my channel popping, and then we can get the ideologies of the evolved mentalities into people's hands and they'll understand what they can actually do with this game. But anyways, that's the TLDR version. This is just a quick sum up of what I'm going to be showing you in the other two videos. Um, another thing that I'm going to be showing in the other two videos, quick TLDR, is the parking spots of the game and uh, what they basically are is I'm making a comparison between uh, 1490 and 1580. And 1580. And then that linear between 1490 and 1580 is the same linear that I'm then making between 1540 and 1610. Okay. So, like, the premium alt parking spot would be 1610, just like it was 1540. Why are these the premium alt parking spots? Because the distance between 16... I guess we'll draw it over here. I know this is taking a little bit of time, but this is totally worth it. I'm happy I'm doing a TLDR for the TLDR. <laughs> Because otherwise, this would have just taken a long time. So let's talk about this. Um, these stopping points are what I'm going to talk about in the other video. But the reason why you want to stop at this region and park at this region is because the distance between the distance between here and here is shorter than the distance between here and here. Material-wise, farm-wise, natural progression-wise, the whole nine-wise, even if you were funneling. So what you really should be doing is that once you get one character to 1490, you should get the rest of your characters to 1490, or at least a couple. Then push this character when you needed it to 1540, right? Park at 1540 for the long period of time while you get these other characters up to 1540 or get more 1490s. So either more 1490s or more 1540s. The more efficient thing to do is more 1490s. Not anymore. Not anymore. Now it'd be better to just get your roster slowly moving up if you're this far behind. Okay, but now we're in that same phase. So while this character is building the bounds that they need, you're leveling beneath it to get more materials immediately because you have time before you need the materials. So same thing here. You don't need 1630 right away. You don't need 1620 because it's dog water content. So it's the longer farm period. So it's actually better to just park all of your characters at 1580, even your main if you want to, and go for more 1580s instead. Or, what you're going to see in the video is that you also have the option, because 1610 is the perfect parking spot, of getting all of your alts to 1610 after or before, just before Voldice release, which you'll have enough bound natural materials, as we've established here, to hit no problem on all your characters. That's the other thing, they also have like 11, I do want to add this in, it's like uh, 9 to 13 tickets cubes i just want to add that in there because that's part of the natural progression like you can't argue this with me because again i've looked at too many people's different things and i've looked at my own on the six different characters that is the natural progression that's what people would have at about eight weeks worth of farming 16 weeks worth of farming i'm sorry this is eight weeks worth of farming let me get rid of that so actually it would be 22 to 26 cubes in the 16 weeks and people are going to be like, it's RNG, it's just shut the fuck up. I had six characters said the exact same amount, basically. Shut up. Shut up. You're stupid. Please. Please. Don't teach me about natural progression. Half of you don't even know what this term means still. <laughs> but, anyways. So what the game's telling us is that they want to slow us down. The gap between here and here is just fucking massive. 
So you stop your main here, you stop your main here, or 1620, fine, you can do 1620 if you really want to. And then you park them for the next six to eight months or whatever it's going to be for Thamine. You park them for a while. Because while you're parking them, it's more efficient for you to go back and get either 1610s, bring your other characters up to 1610 or 1540, um, or the most efficient thing is to just get more 1490s or more 1580s. Um, now, just to recap on that, these are the same concepts, so I hope you're not getting confused and thinking I'm telling you to do a bunch of different things at once. No, I'm telling you that if you're a six-character roster, getting that one sixteen twenty is fucking dumb, but you can do it. Go ahead and do it. Go for it. But then after you do that, don't touch that sixteen twenty again until you get these other alts to sixteen ten for the f for the full farming. Okay, which you'll see in the third longest video of the differences between the two. Um, and what I'm telling you to do with this. Uh, if you have more than six characters, is that I'm telling you to get more 1580s because there's more value in getting more 1580s for a cheaper cost uh, than a 1610, essentially. And it will increase your funnel at the top, and we're going to be in this range for over a year probably farming in the 1580 materials range because even after Thamine comes out, 1630 is not the cap, 1650 is the cap, so you have more to go beyond that. So we're here for a year. We're here for a guaranteed year. So if you were going to make a long-term investment where, like, Wilden back in the day was like, you will get the gold back forever. <laughs> no, but you're producing more value on your account. It's not about getting a return on investment. That's the dumbest logic I've ever heard sometimes. Like, you're not trying to get if you put 200,000 gold, 200,000 gold out of a character. That's not, that's not how this game works. Again, it's about expanding your business. If I get... By making all those 1490s, by getting these characters to 1540, it's allowing me to increase my funnel. So I went from being able to do something like 6 characters times 8. It's 5500, 50, 5, so I've already done this. Times 8 times 7 times 16, right? Those are the Radiant Stones. So I'm able to push out 5300 Radiant Stones, but instead of pushing out 5300 Radiant Stones, because I have the 6 1540s behind it, and technically all the 1490s, but you have two Caligos, because I have the 6 1540s behind it, I was able to add an extra couple thousand, you know, whatever it was. Um, we already just did the math somewhere. I forget where it was. Um, but it was like an extra thousand. Like So, so I, I think I did 10, right? Didn't we do 10? 10 times uh, 5. Or no, because it's 6 characters. So 10 times 6 times 7 times 16. Divided by 5. So 1,300 stones. So you're able to get another 1,300 stones because of what I did by getting them to 1,540. So it's just... I get it, you want that gold number to be returned in your fucking, in your brain, but that's just not the concept that I'm going for. It's about expanding and, and growing and producing more resources every day. So it's, I don't know, it's, a good way to explain it would be like my account, when I only had like one or two characters produced, you know, this much value, right? And then I made more characters and I produced this much value every day. And then I made more characters and I produced this much value every day. Oof. <laughs> and then I made more characters and I produced this much value every day. And now I'm at a point where instead, like back in the day, I couldn't produce what I'm producing now. I went from being able to produce, and I'm just going to use silver as an example, you know, one mil silver a day. And now I'm at a point where I can produce like 10 mil silver a day. And that's the difference. Right, I don't know how else to explain it. It's just you go from being able to make, like, so your short leap stones, I can now create a massive funnel. I don't do any of the chaos dungeons and the secondary characters. I just do all the guardians. That's not what I'm doing, but that's what I could do. Um, and then there's going to be those people that are like, gear the characters, gear this. Like, dude, we've gotten four or five passes now that have given you gems and given you tripods and all the materials that you need to get a character up and running. Like, I'm so tired of that conversation. And jewelry is so cheap right now, it's just silly. For Guardian raids, it's kind of silly to even have this conversation anymore. But whatever. Again, I still send it between myself, too. So I still don't even spend the gold or the feelings. But whatever. <clears throat> this is the TLDR of it. This is already half of the other video, so, like, I don't want to go too much longer on it. The concept is, is if you want to make it to 1620, it's very much possible, depending on what roster you play. The only two people that I didn't mention here that can't make it to 1620 are the people who are the brand-new players to the game because you haven't put enough time in to get these materials or have a funnel or have this many characters. Or two, somebody who doesn't already have a 1580, your goal should not be 1620. Your goal, if you have one 1580, really shouldn't be 1620. Your goal should be getting a, uh, spreading out your love, getting a larger roster. Um, that's it. TLDR. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, check out the two other videos in the link. Um, I did it this way because I know these videos are going to be long as shit, so if you really want the education, you're going to have to click the link and go watch the videos. Um, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Peace.